Throughout the years, our understanding of the cosmos has greatly expanded through diligent research efforts. However, the deeper scientists delve into the cosmos, the more mysteries emerge. A long-standing inquiry among scientists has been the existence of extraterrestrial life, and recent news highlights an intriguing development. Researchers have just revealed the presence of an enigmatic and unidentified signal originating from the heart of the Milky Way. This newfound revelation revolves around the phenomenon of fast radio bursts FRBs, which are exceedingly rare bursts of luminosity that last mere milliseconds. These brilliant bursts have captivated the scientific community since their initial detection beyond our galaxy. Scientists embarked on an extensive 13-year investigation into these fleeting events. Yet, on April 28, 2020, a significant breakthrough occurred when two terrestrial radio telescopes detected a powerful surge of radio waves emanating from within the Milky Way. For the first time in recorded history, an FRB was identified within our own galactic neighborhood. Despite its astonishingly brief duration of just one millisecond, it was an astronomical occurrence that could not be overlooked. The discovery was made possible by two instrumental projects, the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, or CHIME for short, and the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2, known as STAR-2. These two observatories picked up the FRB signal, which originated approximately 30,000 light-years away from Earth. Ordinarily, in the pursuit of capturing a fast radio burst FRB, one must align their radio equipment in a particular direction and hope for serendipity to strike. Through sheer luck, a fortunate capture may occur. The recent revelation left scientists feeling fortunate as the CHIME Observatory was not even pointed in the correct direction when it unexpectedly detected the FRB. This serendipitous event underscores that 2020 was not the first instance of FRB discovery. Back in 2007, the initial discovery of FRBs was made by Duncan Lorimer and David Narkovich as they analyzed data from the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. You might wonder why there has been such a considerable gap between FRB detections. The primary reason is the extreme distance at which FRBs occur, coupled with their fleeting nature. Typically, astronomers allocate one or more telescopes to concentrate on a newly discovered object to facilitate in-depth study. However, this approach is impractical with FRBs, which appear and disappear in the blink of an eye. Nevertheless, astronomers have persisted in their quest to understand FRBs, drawing knowledge from observed events beyond our galaxy. Through dedicated research, we have learned that FRBs are intense bursts of radio emissions that endure for mere microseconds to milliseconds. Furthermore, it is well established that the majority of these phenomena are situated billions of light years away. The remaining enigma about FRBs pertains to their origin and nature. This is why the discovery of the most energetic radio burst in our own Milky Way in April 2020 was such a momentous achievement. Previous FRBs were so distant that they posed significant challenges for comprehensive study. Yet, the proximity of this particular discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mystery of FRB origins. Subsequently, astronomers have been refining their hypotheses regarding FRBs. Presently, there is a growing suspicion that these bursts emanate from compact sources, with neutron stars emerging as prime candidates due to their combination of small size and high energy output. However, among neutron stars, scientists are inclined to believe that magnetars, a subset of young neutron stars born from the remnants of supernovas, boasting magnetic fields 5,000 trillion times more potent than Earth's, are the likeliest source of FRBs. This fact establishes them as the most potent magnetic forces in the universe. This assertion isn't merely conjecture. Extensive research has been dedicated to the examination of fast radio bursts FRBs, in connection with magnetars since the suspicion arose. Magnetars are renowned for emitting high-energy electromagnetic radiation, specifically gamma rays and X-rays. These emissions manifest as transient flares, leading to the conjecture that radio waves could similarly be generated in this process, thereby identifying magnetars as the likely source of FRBs. The most recent FRB detected within our galaxy has been designated by astronomers as FRB 200428. It was pinpointed to have originated in the constellation Volpicula, intriguingly coinciding with the location of the galactic magnetar. 
This revelation was accompanied by a burst of X-rays emanating from the same celestial region. Remarkably, this occurrence transpired before the FRB 200428 detection by CHIME and STAR-2, which identified it as arising from the magnetar, already known for its intermittent radio pulsations. Concurrently, various telescopes detected multiple instances of X-ray and gamma-ray bursts. These observatories also recorded X-ray emissions coinciding with the fast radio bursts. To further verify these findings, the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope FAST, located in southwest China, became the center of attention. This telescope detected an FRB in the vicinity of the presumed location of FRB 200428, which also coincides with the region of SGR 1935 plus 2154, the aforementioned galactic magnetar. This finding further solidifies the link between the X-ray source and fast radio bursts. Although this presents a valuable clue regarding the mechanism by which magnetars generate FRBs, scientists have yet to arrive at a definitive explanation and are actively striving to unravel the significance of this discovery. Rogue alien planets in the starless void. As our exploration of space deepens, it continues to challenge pre-existing theories. Initially, it was widely held that all planets should be in orbit around stars. However, Recent discoveries have disrupted this conventional belief by revealing the existence of planets that traverse the cosmos without being tethered to any star. Notably, Kepler, a spacecraft initially designed for a different purpose, has unexpectedly furnished preliminary evidence of these free-floating celestial bodies. Utilizing data gathered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope during a two-month segment of its K2 mission phase, scientists observed the independent movement of potential exoplanets. Over this duration, Kepler diligently scrutinized a vast expanse of millions of stars near the center of our galaxy at half-hour intervals. In their data analysis, researchers seek indications of rare gravitational microlensing occurrences. These events transpire when the gravitational pull of a substantial foreground object bends the light emitted by a more distant star or quasar, effectively acting as a cosmic magnifying glass that allows scientists to discern objects that would otherwise remain beyond their detection. During their data analysis, the researchers identified 27 candidates displaying short-duration signals that varied in length, spanning from one hour to as long as 10 days. It's noteworthy that some of these signals had previously been detected in Earth's data. Among these signals, four stood out due to their notably shorter duration. Nevertheless, the data associated with these four signals consistently suggests the presence of planets with masses roughly akin to that of Earth. The absence of an extended signal that would typically be anticipated in the presence of a host star and its orbiting planet led scientists to hypothesize that these planets were initially in orbit around a star but were subsequently dislodged by gravitational forces or a more massive celestial body. The task of detecting these signals presented significant challenges to the scientists, primarily because Kepler was not originally designed for the purpose of exoplanet detection using microlensing, and it had never been intended to conduct research in such densely populated regions of stars. Moreover, the telescope's age limited its ability to provide the high-quality imagery required for this endeavor. Consequently, the researchers employed a somewhat blurry view of a densely packed portion of the sky teeming with bright stars and asteroids. One of the researchers likened their work to the pursuit of a lone firefly's fleeting flicker amidst a bustling highway using only a mobile phone for illumination. The scientists had just one chance to identify these brief luminous events before they vanished. To accomplish this, researchers had to adapt their approach. With the decommissioning of the Kepler telescope in 2018, scientists turned their attention to telescopes equipped for the task. Among these instruments are NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to collaborate with missions like the European Space Agency's Euclid mission. Both possess the capacity to detect signals from microlensing events, potentially verifying the presence of these peculiar planets. It's essential to note, however, that while these findings are captivating and thought-provoking, they do not definitively confirm the existence of free-floating planets or unusual celestial bodies within the Milky Way. Furthermore, scientists have unveiled intriguing developments in the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy, known as Sagittarius A. Adjacent to this black hole, astronomers have identified a distinctive class of objects. 
Under normal circumstances, these objects exhibit compact characteristics, but as they approach the black hole during their orbits, which may extend from 100 to 1000 years, they undergo considerable elongation. In 2005, scientists initially spotted an object at the galactic center, dubbed G1, and later in 2012, identified a second object, G2. By 2014, G2 had ventured close to the black hole. It is postulated that G2 originally consisted of two stars orbiting the black hole in tandem, subsequently merging into a single giant star obscured by a dense gas and dust cloud. More recently, researchers have identified four additional objects, denoted as G3, G4, G5, and G6. These objects exhibit distinct orbital patterns from G1 and G2, which share similarities. Scientists posit that all six objects stem from binary stars or star pairs compelled to merge due to the potent gravitational influence of Sagittarius A. This suggests that stellar mergers may be a more frequent occurrence in the universe than previously assumed. The presence of the black hole may trigger these stellar mergers, with most observed stars possibly being the end result of such amalgamations. The interaction between galaxies and black holes remains a dynamic and perplexing area of study motivating scientists to delve deeper into this phenomenon. Although the newly discovered enigmatic objects near the Milky Way share some similarities, G2 stands out due to its limited stretching compared to the others. Researchers speculate that a force must be responsible for keeping G2 compact and enabling its survival during the encounter with the black hole. Moreover, it appears that G2 harbors a stellar object, and the proximity of these G objects to Sagittarius A asterisk suggests that they may be supplying the insatiable black hole with gas it has siphoned off from stars. This insight underscores the pervasive disorder not only within the Milky Way but in other galaxies as well. Astronomers continue to collect data on the G objects and are engaged in ongoing analysis while actively searching for additional discoveries. The boundless mysteries of space await further exploration, with the hope that human understanding will one day elucidate these enigmas.